Thanks very much for taking time to come over and visit with me over on Fritz's Cooking again. I'm Fritz, and guys, it's Friday, so I reckon y'all know what time it is, guys. It's time for another Costco Frozen Food Review. And guys, we've been up and down them Costco Frozen Food aisles again, and what I found, y'all, was some J. Scott Foods Gourmet Stuffed Clams, guys. And you get uh, 10 of them, and I believe I paid like 8 bucks for them. But ain't that, uh, ain't that hoity-toity there? Uh, take a peek at them, guys. They, they smell wonderful. And along with that, we're going to have some baked potatoes that I kind of olive oiled up real good. And I, I actually put some of this on them, and I'm actually going to add that to my potato. Check that out, guys. Ha <laughs> ha, bacon salt, man. Ain't that something? Ain't that something? Along with that, we're going to have some Bush's baked beans and some uh, shoe peg corn, some butter shoe peg corn. All right, guys, let's get after this. I've been wanting to try this for a while now. All right, guys. All right, guys, check that plate of goodness out. Got them stuffed clams up on there. I've never had these before. And uh, I really ain't much on what stuffed crab. I always used to give that to my brother. I'd trade him out <laughs> whenever we'd go to the fish restaurant for something. But uh, got our tater with a little bit of Italian style cheese on it, uh, the shoe peg corn, and some beans, guys. But uh, looks like mom's ready to dig in over here. You wanna give that a try, mom? See what you think? 
see if it truly is gourmet. Is it good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty tasty. <laughs> uh oh. All right. I don't know if that if that's really good or. That's good. Okay. Yeah. Also, okay. All right, guys. Let me go in after this. I gotta try it. That's actually pretty damn good. Mm. It's sort of like a stovetop stuff and meets some clams or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's actually good. Got a little kick to it. I was gonna put a little bit of my spice on it, but you eat yours with mayonnaise? <laughs> I could have made you some tarts, huh? Actually, guys, this ain't bad at all. Now, I'm not going to say it's award-winning, but uh, it would be good for a party. You know, like a, uh, you know, an appetizer type thing. It's pretty daggone good. I mean, look, I can't quit eating it. Mmm, <laughs> mmm, mmm, mmm. -mm. Well, guys, my camera is, I'm sorry about my camera here. I'm using my, my Samsung S4, but I got good news from Canon. They're actually going to be shipping me out another camera. So I'll have another camera come uh, probably probably by fr next Friday or so. You ought to be on uh, some of my upcoming cooks. But got me a tater with a uh, little bit of uh, butter and this bacon salt, guys. Check that stuff out, y'all. Ain't that something? Mm -mm -mm. Found that online. Mm. God, it sure does taste a potato. It's like you got real bacon in there, ain't it? Yeah. Mm. And this is one of my favorite things, guys. This is like 88 cents a box. I believe it's Bird's Eye. I think it's by Bird's Eye. Is that is that who it's by? I'm not sure who it's by, but uh, they sell it at Meyer, and it's buttery shoe peg corn. And it comes like in a plastic bag, man. You just put it in a little bowl and throw it right on in there. And I'm here to tell you, it's some of the best corn I've ever had. Mm. You know, like I've said before, I've actually made a meal out of just this corn. Mm. And you know I love my Bush's baked beans, y'all. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Uh oh, that blow out. Mm. Well, guys, I wanted to say thank you so very, very much for stopping by and visiting with me over on Fritz's Cooking again. And uh, I had a blast shooting, or I'm having a blast shooting these uh, Costco frozen food reviews, and uh, I'm hoping y'all are enjoying them to an extent. And uh, Guys, we got a, a, a lot more to come. There's a lot more frozen food in there. So I reckon what we're going to do is we're going to see you Sunday. And I hope you're actually going to drop back by and visit with me Sunday. Uh, my comments are open on Sundays, and I hope to hear from y'all. So until then, thank you so very much. And I reckon we'll holler at y'all soon. Round and round she goes where she stops. Nobody knows. All right, y'all. Bye.